Well, let me, you know, and, and to your credit, I've, you know, the few times, and I've watched your VODs because I, I'm always sad that I miss you, especially when you beat TMNT. I was like, I need to see that. And so, you know, go back and watch it. And Busted. you are, yeah, you did. And you're, you're a genuine human that your reactions are real. They are you, how you interact with people is you. And I can, you know, and there are certain people, and I know, you know, because most of us that I, you know, the people that I've seen in chat, the people that I'm talking to, you know, and you and anybody else are genuine humans that also just so happened to be on the internet. We are not, you know, uh, um, like characters that yes. are, you know, when we press play, we yes. pull the veil over, you know, instead what we're doing when we hit like start broadcasting, we take the freaking veil off and welcome you into a very personal, yes. like intimate place, you know? And I know that's not true for everybody. And I think those are the people usually um, that not, not get uh, burnt out, but eventually someone will be like, you're not who I thought you were, you know? And it's because mm. they were, you know, it gets exhausting. It really does to put on airs or to like uh, perform as something you're not live constantly. Oh. That is, that is a mental strain, you know? It's just, it's just not something you can do forever. And we've seen it with, you know, musicians, uh, with mm -hmm. comedy actors, with everything. You know, I mean, look at some of the most tragic, you know, comedy acts out there that we look back at and they're like, Williams. that was never, it was, yeah, it was yeah. never me. You know, yeah. you thought you was or Jim Carrey, you know, all of them right. that are like, I, that was never actually me. You know, mm -hmm. I was I was doing the best I could because I needed you to like me and I was getting paid a lot of money to mm -hmm. be that to you. And, you know, their poor Chappelle's minds. Chappelle's another one that comes to mind. I just yeah, thought that too. Yeah. Yep. Um, and, you know, so when I, you know, go back and look at your things and some of my friends that I see and it's just you being you, I'm like, my heart connects with you immediately where I'm like, I love that we can be real with each other and that. Twitch is like allowing us this like Care yeah. Bear style bridge, you know, yeah. <laughs> to each other. Yeah. And, you know, it's really, it's a special thing to me. I don't know if everybody gets like the feels from that, from like one to another, but like when you and I were talking yesterday and I'd been in your streams more as like you're a celebrity to me and I like get to connect with you for real. True. That's like a real thing, you know, Price. that's real, you know? You catch that everyone in the chat? Price just went up. Keeves likes me. Okay. Oh, okay. Maybe I will show my allergy drink. <laughs> there we go. Now show. <laughs> uh, <laughs> where's my cup? Oh. There you go. Yeah, well, I, I mean, so I want to move. Uh, I, I think the point you make is great. The the ability to genuinely connect on here and the, the point of sustainability of you can't put on the act. You can't put on the face. And man, that is a that's a tension, too, because when you are somebody that, oh, it sure it certainly did. Kill. He just said my head got real big. It we're we keeps and I both connected. We're like, we're already on the last strap of those adjustable caps. Like our heads are as big as they can get. So yeah. until, <laughs> until we need to special order stuff. Um, what I'm, what I'm thinking of here is when you take the veil off, as you say, and you, you go through that exercise and kind of vulnerability and stuff, even that can be straining when you feel like you, you don't want to let people in at a certain level, but if you're keeping the veil on, carrying that also can be straining. There, there's kind of a, a double-edged sword there. But the sustainable way, in in the way that I'm made up, is I can't carry the extra weight. It feel I feel shackled and I can't do the show. I can't do the the pretending things are right if they're not. So there have been a couple of times that I've come on the stream where I haven't felt like myself. I haven't felt great. I've been in a down mood. And one of the beautiful parts of this medium, I think, is that the communities you surround yourself with are just as there for you when you are in that mode, even though your mind says this isn't good content, this isn't high vibes, this isn't happy, this isn't this, but they're there for you the same. And I think it adds to the authenticity of what people do if you're willing to do that too. Um, and I don't know if you've encountered that. I've encountered that in my journey and it was really intimidating, but I almost think necessary at the time it occurred. Um, and I've seen it in a couple other people's streams where they've battled that thought between, oh, I just, I want to entertain people, but I also am not feeling myself. What do I do there? Um, have mm -hmm. you ever encountered a situation like that where you're not feeling, feeling a hundred percent going in or is oh, this, yeah. or is this the way to rebound if you're feeling that way? No, you're, you, you nailed it. Um, there have been a few times where for me, it had gone so poorly that I immediately reached out to somebody that was on the stream and I'm like, hit me straight. Like, how bad was that? And, you know, more often than not, they're like, wow, you know, I, I, I couldn't tell you were having uh, a rough night. And to me, like, I don't, I don't understand. I don't get how that wasn't noticed, but I, I especially one night um, I was out of, I was, it was almost like I wasn't even there. It felt like mm. what was happening was an out of body experience because I was so uh, anxious about being live, like going live that night. 
And I know anxiety is going to get the best of us regardless of what we're doing. I mean, if you can be working your day job and go in and you're doing data entry and you've done it, you know all the keystrokes you're going to do. But that second you start of the day, for some reason, your hand shakes a bit and you get that. It's, it's just going to happen. You know, I don't know what it is, but it, it, it does hit. And, you know, I think just like you said, once you are with those people that genuinely care about you because you're not, you know, some fake being, um, because you care about them. And I do everybody, you know, and, and I know you do too. I saw, I've, I've seen you interact with everybody in here. There is a genuine, you know, care back and forth there. And if that's real, then you have gone around your friends and there's a support system there. It's not as much a, I'm going to get up on stage and bomb tonight. And you're going to go tell everybody, Hey, I wasted 50 bucks tonight seeing, you know, Keeves flub his butt up and down the stage. No, instead you're hanging out with a bunch of friends on the couch and, you know, yeah. they give you an extra drink because you look like you could use it. Um, and you know, that's more of what it is, but I, you know, I'll be super honest last night I was going to do a, like a pop-up stream, I guess is what we call it. Yeah. And, um, I don't, I don't know what, what it was that was fighting me, but I was ready. I had my game up. I changed my stream title. I had my OBS rock and the lights were hitting me and everything. Mm -hmm. And I hovered over that go live button for probably about 35 minutes and just never did it. Whoa. I just, I, I just couldn't do it. I, uh, and, and it was, it wasn't even that, like, I wasn't. I wasn't scared as much to do wow. it as, as I was like, as my body was kind of like, you, you don't need, you shouldn't do this right now. And, but my mind was like, but I really, I really want to, but my, like there was, there was a fight, there was a battle. And a couple of mm. times I sat there and I would be like, I, I out loud, I'm sitting because you have my mic on, you can hear yourself in your mic. And sometimes yeah. you, you just want to feel yourself. And I was like, just hit it, man. Once it, once it starts, you'll be fine. Just, just hit it. Mm. You're going to be good. And you sit there and I looked at it a couple of times and I was like, no. So I changed the game, changed my stream title, went again and I hovered for another 20 minutes. And I was like, that's crazy. That's so I just crazy. went up and I was sat with my wife for a bit and I was like, ah, you know, it's not happening tonight. I can't do it. You know? And uh, that's, you know, and maybe it's because I got out of my stream schedule and I was going to do something weird. I don't usually do that. Hmm. I don't know, but I couldn't do it, man. So like wow. last night was probably the first time I've ever completely chickened out and I felt terrible. Really? That was, so I want to, yeah. so naturally, because that was a hard experience, I'm just going to pull that right apart. Um, mm -hmm. I'm really interested because I've never had that experience. I'm interested to know, but I'm sure you're not the only one. Um, what were you feeling in that moment? You said there was something not hitting. Like, were you, you, were you anxious? Were you not, were you feeling guilty? You shouldn't be doing something else. Was it, because because this is now starting to bridge into another area I want to talk about, which is as we stream as parents and as we stream, it, we're in we're both married, uh, not to each other yet. <laughs> but you and I, I mean, we have other relationship obligations and other responsibilities that we carry. Was that at all in the back of your mind? Was that what was what was going on? Kind of if you could capture that moment. No, you know, I, I think what it came down to is. Um, you know, there, there are certain games that when I want to play them, I'd like to have them planned out. Um, okay. because there is a certain, a certain flow that I would like to have happen if I'm playing, you know, a certain game where I don't have to be too involved with one or the other, but they can kind of flow together seamlessly. Okay. And, um, when I haven't planned anything and I'm just jumping in the deep end and the water's going to be super cold, um, I, that, that, that gives me like the pre body shock. Like, you know how, like when mm. you're, you're getting to that point in the water where it's about to hit nip, you know, and you're like, <laughs> this is going to hurt, you know, right when it's about to like slap right on the areola man and you're like i don't know i don't know if this is gonna areola be slap affects hundreds of americans yeah, I mean, a year i know get, it's gonna yeah. get you bad and so i mean i was sitting there at that moment it was like is this worthy of me going live right now or like am i just like at that point where I feel like nobody needs to see me right now. Like there's mm. nobody out there that needs my, like, I don't want to invade Wednesday mm. is a busy night. And here's where my mind went immediately is like, I don't, I don't want to, there's a, a lot of my friends are live. A lot of really mm. cool people are on right now. I don't need to crowd up the space. People mm. are busy. You know, I see a lot of viewers and some of my good friends, like maybe I, I, I would feel intrusive. So these thoughts started going through my head. I was like, wow, there's no need. There's no need for me right now. I need to just reel it back. And that's as I was sitting there like hovering, I was like, why don't I just, can't you just play video games, Keeves? Like, can't you just like turn on a game and just shut up and play a game? And like, I had that battle with myself for like wow. 35, 40 minutes. You know, it's like, can I just play a game? Should I just play a game? But I'm playing this game with everybody. Like, really, should I do it alone? Is that mm. selfish? You know, should I get on when everybody else is on? Is that selfish? Like, I didn't, I don't know, man. It, and these are all point, real. These are all real thoughts people have, though. I mean, these yeah. you're not you're not alone in that. I think this is valuable to explore for people that have are in this space now. Younger streamers thinking about this. I mean, there's such a pressure, like you said, there's such a pressure. Just eyes on us, eyes on us. Stay relevant. Make sure you produce stuff every day. Put something out on Twitter. Put something. Like sometimes you gotta just, for lack of a better term. 
STFU for a little while too. Like there is some value in that. I found yeah. it for myself. I, I've had to say it to myself because I'm the same way. I like to crave the the constant and I need to tell myself the same thing sometimes. But sorry, I all to validate the totally real uh, debate you have with yourself in that moment. And, you know, when it when it comes down to it, like there was no need for me. I didn't need to crowd people's bandwidth or area with my face anyways. And so I think it was probably better that I just sat back. Like, I think that too much, you know, it's too much is not is not good. You know what I mean? And I I feel like I usually I do three times a week. I do Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, you know, and like I feel like that's a, that's enough because I know I know that what I do is a lot. I'm not, yeah. It's not lost on me that like what what I bring to when they jump in like that i i assault you with <laughs> with the experience and there should be I, a disclaimer in the front this is yes. this is my official and only like a uh, straight up apology on retro nates like when you come in i right now i apologize for what happens but like at the same time that's that's the most fun for me is like what yeah. happens there um and so you know when it came down to it it just wasn't it wasn't the time for it and yeah. um and yeah. you know that's gonna happen and it, i think it's to, and I'm, I'm saying this, I guess, maybe to validate myself and feel better about the failure I had last night. But like, I think it's important sometimes to know when to not, um, yes. you, you know, so that yes. it doesn't feel like you always have to be on because if you always have to be, we were just talking about it. It's the same burnout, it's you know, the same. It's just, it, yeah. And uh, I think that last night was an important lesson for me to learn. That was like, if you're, if you're at that point before you even get down to it, Probably better you don't. This was last Probably night. Better. This is like fresh in your mind. Oh, okay. I thought this was weeks ago. Sorry, you said it was last night. I should be. I don't interview people often, so I'm sorry. I wasn't huh. listening. I wasn't listening to what you were saying. Um, uh, that's okay. You don't need to listen to me at all. 